what's up guys it's brian again from lake hickory scuba marine if you're new to our channel do me a huge favor hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well well you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content and if you can't tell i'm out of breath i'm out here on the farm where i live at and just doing my morning run that i do every single morning a lot of you guys ask how do you have such a good sack rate well we made a video on that and i'll link it down below of why i got such a good sack rate a lot of it has to do with experience, how long I've been diving, but a lot of it also has to do with exercise. And running is a great exercise to get your sack rate where it needs to be. Running gets your heart rate up, but it teaches you to control your breathing so that you can have a high heart rate, but a low respiratory rate. But I wanna show you something cool in this video. I'm here on the farm. You can't really see much of it here where I'm at, but, uh, I've got a really neat object I want to show you real quick. Take a look at this. Who knows what that is? Kind of looks like a missile or a torpedo, right? Well, that's actually a fuel tank off an F-86 fighter jet. If you don't know what that is, has an old wartime plane from the 1950s back during the Korean War that flew, and that was the fuel pod that went up underneath the wings that gave the uh, aircraft, obviously, gas or fuel to fly with. And back in January of this year, I flew out to California to teach a research company out there how to dive full face mask. And part of my trip was to explore California. And both my dad, myself, and one of our dive masters got to go out and tour down in San Diego, the Midway Aircraft Carrier. And if you're not familiar with that, it's kind of a national museum now that you can go and tour. It's got all different types of aircraft that's on it, and it's a really, really cool place. Well, Chuck, which is one of our dive masters, he is a, a veteran. He's an Army veteran and has a ton of knowledge. He's probably forgot more about the military than I'll ever know about scuba diving in general. And he actually found us an F-86 fighter jet on the Midway aircraft carrier where that fuel tank right back there actually set. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of background about the fuel tank, and then I'm gonna kind of explain how I come to get this fuel tank and how that relates to scuba diving. Huh? Air Force. Air Force flew the F-86s and the Navy flew the J-3s. So as you can see guys, multiple branches use that specific aircraft. Um, these were actually drop cylinders, which means they, they dropped them from the planes and stuff. Now, how did I come to get this, this tank, this fuel system? Um, well, we found it in our local lake. So we were just out doing some sonar training one day with the local fire department and teaching them how to do it. And we come across an object that we thought was a pontoon. So if you think of a pontoon boat, the actual floating pontoons. And that's what we thought it was. So we didn't think much about it, but we decided to send some divers down just to give them some practice. So they see it on sonar, they go down, they see what they find underwater. Well, when we actually went down for their training, we realized really quick that it wasn't a pontoon, that there was actually a gas line still attached to it. You could see where the little cap had opened, where they had filled the gas in it and all that. And which you can see, I'll show you here, you kind of see where that spot is there. We also noticed, and I don't know if I can get it rolled over here for you, but we also noticed where it mounted up underneath the wing. Let me show you here. So you can see these brackets right here. They're kind of rusted out. But these brackets is where it actually mounted up underneath their wing, which was really cool. So we knew immediately this is not a pontoon. This is a gas tank. And we wasn't sure what it was from. So we planned a day that a couple of us, me and two buddies, could actually go back out, lift this thing up, get it out of the water. And then we started doing research. Well, we've got a local airport here. It's just the Hick Hickory Regional Airport. And we had a representative come out. He confirmed what it was. He actually confirmed when it was from. And to be honest, that fuel tank was from the Korean War. So how did it get in our local lake? Well, we're not sure. I don't personally believe that it fell from the sky and landed in the lake. What I believe is it was sold for surplus. Back in the day, a lot of these fuel tanks were cleaned out. 
they were sold for surplus and people were using them as ballast tanks to lift their boats up and out of the water. It was kind of a, a boat lift back in the day, if you would. And the reason we believe this one was actually bought through surplus is the simple fact that they had other things mounted to it. You could see other brackets that wouldn't normally come on. I wanna show you what these look like really quick because we saw a bunch of these on the Midway aircraft carrier and you can see them in pristine conditions. So as you can see guys, I personally don't believe that this one fell from the sky. I truly believe that it was bought through uh, surplus. Like I said, there was plenty of other things mounted on it. You could see where there were brackets and stuff had been welded and bolted onto it. Um, but yeah, it's a really neat thing to go out in your local environment and find something like that. Uh, and that's what I would encourage you to do. Go dive, dive your local environment. You never ever know what you're gonna find in your local environment. You could find sunglasses, you can find cell phones, you can find cars, we found a ton of cars. You can even find old war pieces of equipment, stuff like that. And that's the cool thing about diving. You know, I, I joke with my students all the time that scuba diving is time traveling. We get to go underwater. We get to see things that people have not seen for many, many years, sometimes hundreds, sometimes even thousands of years. And it's really cool to be able to experience that. And that's something that you can do too as a diver. Get out there, go dive, have fun, and be safe. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below what is the neatest thing you have ever found while diving and did you get to keep it or not so let me know down in the comment section below i've got to finish my run i gotta go wake my girls up get them to school this morning and then i gotta to get to work because i got a lot of stuff to do today but until then take care god bless and i'll see you in the next video